Hi there, and this time I'm gonna show you how you can use GPT-4 everywhere on your Mac or even iOS. We're going to use shortcuts I have created, which are basically gathers your input and based on them preparing a payload to the OpenAI API. Next, the response is being passed and sent back to you. With this macro, there is no need for you to understand what is happening here, because you can find it in the description of this video. The only thing you have to do is to update your API key, which I'll do behind the scenes. What's more, I have created another shortcut which uses the previous one. Basically, you can treat it as a template and just duplicate it and update a prompt. As you can see here, we grab a clipboard content and then ask you to confirm that this is a content you actually want to send to OpenAI. Next, we have a prompt to which our input is being appended. Feel free to update this content and match it to your needs. The same goes with settings which are being sent to the previous shortcut named chat completion. So please make sure that before using this macro, a previous one is already imported. The last step is to get a response from this shortcut and copy back to your clipboard. In this case, prompt we have created can fix any text and give us a fixed version back to our clipboard so we can paste it. Now I like to assign a keyboard shortcut to it, like for example Command Shift X. Then I can go to any app like Superhuman, Arc Browser, or even IntelliJ. In this case I use IAWriter and write some text that includes some typos. Now the only thing I have to do to fix this text is to select it and copy and then trigger a shortcut. As you can see there is a confirmation that this is a text I'd like to send to GPT-4 and then after a couple of seconds a fixed version is here and also in my clipboard. Like I said now you can go to the description of this video and grab those shortcuts and import them to your library. You can use them however you want, and what's more, you have to keep in mind that if shortcut don't use Mac-specific function, like shell scripts for example, you can actually use it on your phone or even Apple Watch. From me that would be all, so if you have any questions just leave it a comment and also you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.